There's a simple truth in nature. Where there's water, there's wildlife. But sometimes wildlife has a hard time finding water, especially during drought and almost always in the desert. You know, this is the Sonora Desert and, uh, you know, it's hot and dry, uh, really hot and dry during the summer. Here's another simple truth. Where water's running out, the Arizona Game and Fish Department is often digging in. Well, we're in the beginning stages of a wildlife water development. Mark Freeberg is the wildlife manager for this swath of Sonoran Desert about 50 miles southwest of Tucson. We're in Game Management Unit 36C. Um, it goes all the way from three points to uh, the border, boundaried by 286, Highway 286 on the uh, east and the Bob Kibri Mountains on the west. It's good mule deer country, but when Freeberg surveyed the area, he wasn't finding a whole lot of water for wildlife. That's why he requested this project. It'll help mule deer, it'll help javelina, the occasional whitetail that comes down here. We're not very far at all from whitetail country, and there's jackrabbits, cottontails, raptors, hawks, um, you name it. It'll, it'll definitely help out a lot of wildlife in the area. What it is is a rain catchment. Some of the units, um, they have you know, anywhere from 6 to 10. Even in the Yuma region, I think they have over 100 um, wildlife catchments in them, and, and this unit actually has one, and this will be the second one. Six and a quarter. Um, that just kind of speaks for the, the need of, of water in the unit, so it is about time. The folks doing the work are from the development branch of Arizona Game and Fish. They're getting some help from the Arizona chapter of Safari Club International and the Santa Rita Landscaping Company. We're basically providing some of the equipment service and the operators to, to, to dig the holes for the tanks and uh, prep, prep the site. I'm a user of wildlife, I'm a watcher of wildlife, and so uh, to be able to, to give back to wildlife is a great thing. Put in this water catchment, uh, that's our main goal. Toby McMillan is the field crew supervisor and a new kid on the block. Yeah, see right there is 9-6. It's my first yeah. one. But his crew has more than 60 years of experience. Almost 10 years. Just about 20 years. 34 years. <laughs> and they almost work like a machine, you know, from one step to the next. So, you know, I get to learn a little bit from them about how this is all goes together. Arizona Game and Fish has been building water developments for wildlife since 1946. Yeah, in the 50s they started off, they were mainly cement vaults. They worked very well, but they didn't have capacity. One of the biggest vaults is only 2,500 gallons. They would go dry and we were hauling water to them every year. The department currently maintains about 1,000 catchments all across the state. We had a fiberglass system, which was fiberglass ring tanks, and this is the latest and greatest design now is polyethylene tanks. The latest water catchments are designed to be low maintenance and to last about 50 years. But the biggest improvement is capacity. With this system, like we have four 2,500 gallon tanks, that's 10,000 gallons. If they fill up, they will last a long time. We leave on Tuesday, we load everything up on trailers, get all the equipment out here, all of our supplies, and we'll set tanks and we'll set the drinker. We spend eight days out here, uh, 10 hour days. You gotta love the camp. It's a job for an outdoorsman, for sure. I love uh, working for wildlife. I love doing what I'm doing for the wildlife. Um, I love being out in the field. I mean, I just love being camped out, working outside. <laughs> this, you know, I, I get to live, live and work in the woods, you know. Um, this is my office and, and that's what I prefer. Yeah, if you're an outdoorsman, this is a great, great job. The development crew connects the four 2,500 gallon tanks to the drinker with three inch PVC pipe. This project will cost about $43,000. About half of the cost is covered by revenue from special hunting tags that are sold at auction. $10,000 was donated by the Freeport McMoran Mining Company. The rest comes from a federal excise tax on the sale of guns and ammo. 
A metal apron that will collect rainwater is installed above the tanks. We put a fence around it, usually 150 by 150 steel rail fence. It's a wildlife friendly fence and uh, keep burrows and cattle out. Our job is basically wildlife habitat improvement. I mean, um, in Arizona, the thing lacking is water. The Bighorn Sheep Society has a, a saying, Sanagua Mortis, without water, death. And it, it's so true, especially in this state. And so that's, it's really satisfying to get done with a project um, and uh, know that there's a, a reliable source of water for the animals. We got an apron that collects the rainwater that's covering the tanks, that protects the tanks in a way too. So the rain falls on the apron, it goes down in the gutter, goes through pipelines into the tanks. In the bottom of the tanks, there's a pipeline that goes to the trough and the wildlife can get their drinks out of the trough. The job isn't finished until the crew cleans up its campsite and makes sure no tracks are left behind. Uh, the most satisfying aspect is probably when you're done with it, you know you did something for wildlife and when you see deer start using it, and it's a great feeling. Building a water catchment is a lot of hard work, but the payoff is worth it. Because where there's water, there's wildlife.